is Anna McKenna. I'm a casting director and I'm also a film producer. My company home base is uh, located in New York, but we do have a sister office in LA and I cast all over. I'm an international casting director, so they told, tell me. I've casted in Beijing, we're casting out of London, we've casted in the Caribbean, wherever a film takes place. I think I'm probably up to about 32 independent films. That probably includes about nine shorts. I've been a casting director for about 17 years. That, that's something special that an actor brings into the room. It's, it's something that can't be described. It's just something special. Maybe it's the passion in their eyes or the way they, you know, interpreted their character. Um, just looking for something unique and special and real. Yes, I do. Uh, take, for instance, we're shooting Sebastian. My director is in Paris. I'm here in New York. Uh, most of the actors, we've been doing Skype auditions, and I've been doing a lot of uh, straight casting from reels. That's why reels are really important. Well, I want it to be fun, good energy. I make sure all the people that are in the room with me, whether they're interning with me for the day or the director's there or the writer, that it's going to be good energy. I want an actor, even if they come into my room and they don't get the part, they go back and tell their agent or their, themselves that, you know what, I didn't get the part, but I had a really good time and I learned something. So that's how I try to keep my room. I say character. And take, for instance, a lot of directors and writers, they can't tell anything through a headshot or a reel because they see an actor one way. Um, I like when the actor is in character. Uh, so we get the whole visual picture of, you know, the actor playing that role. So I do like them in character. I just casted somebody who my director saw the headshot and totally turned down by the headshot and said, no, this person's not right. I got on the phone with the, the, the actor and told them what to do and guided them. And he had to play a Southern cowboy. And um, he did. He came in, jeans, flannel shirt, cowboy hat, toothpick. My director didn't even know it was the same guy that he said no to by the headshot. And he got the role. For me, I say no, because it, I think when you're hiding your accent, it takes away from your performance. You're more concentrating on your accent and not your performance. I make independent films. If I like you, and I've done this in the past, I will incorporate your accent right into my script. Absolutely. Questions, questions. As a matter of fact, the first thing I ask you when you come into your room after I say, hi, how's your day going? I ask you, do you have any questions? Sometimes people look at me with a face like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then they're like, oh my goodness, and they have a list. Um, a lot of people in the industry know they can ask me questions. And yes, I want you to ask me questions. It shows me that you really want to know what's going on you know, with the story or the production. That's a really good question. And I'm pretty easy going, but a, a common mistake for me would be, number one, questioning why we're asking you to do something a different way. Because we have our own ideas in your head. Okay, that would be it. So questioning why we're asking you to do something differently. Um, being rude in the waiting room to other actors is a really big faux pas for me because I'm not only casting you for your talent, I'm casting you for your personality, your good energy, what you're gonna bring to my set. And telling me you didn't read the script. Now why I'm saying that is because with me, you get the script about a week in advance and you get the full script. So, yeah, those are the little bit of mistakes. Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yes, all the time. Sometimes I do it repeatedly, you know, and it's not because I like an actor better than one other actor. It's just because it fits that way. Um, that's why I love doing classes and getting to see the actor, not only their talent, but their personality. So, yes, I cast, act cast actors all the time from class. I cast both. I make union films. And I tap Hartley an actor where they'll be eligible to join the union. I write a letter to the union telling them why I'm choosing them over a union actor, and then they're SAG eligible. I'm up to about probably well over 100, I think 132 now in my career, of helping non-union actors get their union cards. So um, I find joy out of it, especially if the actor you know, is deserving of it. So yes, I cast union and non-union actors. It doesn't make a difference.
Right now I'm casting a film called Sebastian and I'm also a producer on it. We're filming that here in New York. Um, we might do some spots in LA yet, we haven't decided that. I'm also casting another film called Shooter's Nails. We don't know where we're filming that yet. Um, casting 79 Parts is another film uh, that's actually um, in production already and it stopped for the winter and it goes back into production in the spring. I'm casting another movie called Speakeasy. We don't know where we're shooting that yet. Um, these films that we don't know where we're shooting yet, we start uh, pre-production in, I would say, probably March, April.